Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Padlet to create a mind map or web of connected ideas. Let's go ahead and take a look at Padlet here. And we're going to make a Padlet. And we're going to use the Canvas option. So hit Select. And now we're going to give it a name over here. And this one's going to be all about Boston sports teams. So I'm going to call it Boston sports. And we'll say a web of connections between Boston sports teams. Now we go down here, we can change our wallpaper to make the background a little different. I'm just going to use a nice kind of flat blue color here. But you can add your own or use any of those other options you see right there. And you can change your font style and your color scheme if you like. Switch back and forth between those. You can turn on author attribution if you like. You can allow commenting if you want to. We'll turn on the profanity filter if we're going to share this with our students. You can even set it to require approval if you're sharing this with your students and you want to read their comments or read their notes before they appear. But now let's hit next and start posting. And so I'm just going to double click and I'm going to write in at the top Boston sports teams. Let's say the professional teams that play in and around Boston. And we can change that color scheme if we like. We can make that one orange. And we can add in pictures. We can even add in video clips or links if we want to, or drawings or record our voice talking about Boston sports teams. But for now, I'm just going to use this image search and we'll do a quick default image search. And let's grab this one here and use that. And that photographs from Unsplash, which is a great place to find images that are in the public domain and labeled for reuse. So that image will appear there in our note in just a second. And now let's publish it. So we've got our first note here. Now I'm going to add another note. And let's say Red Sox. This is the Major League Baseball team that plays in Boston. And again, we can change that color. Let's make that one blue. Or maybe we'll make it red because it's red socks. And again, we could add in additional information if we wanted to in the form of images or video clips or links. But let's just hit publish. Now, I want to connect these two. So let's go up here to my first note. And right next to the edit button, you'll see this little three dot menu, sometimes called a sandwich menu or a hamburger menu and we can connect it to a post and we'll select connect. Now, you can connect multiple things together. So let's add another one. So I'm gonna write in Bruins and this is the National Hockey League team that plays in Boston. And let's publish that one. And let's connect to a post right there. Now I'm gonna add in one more. I'm gonna double click. I'm gonna add in the Celtics. Let's make that one green. This is the professional basketball team. And let's publish that. And now let's connect to that post. And I can click and drag and move these around, as you can see here. I'm going to add a note over here. We call it TD 
Bank Garden. It's a formerly known as just the Boston Garden. The hockey and basketball teams play here. So let's add that, and now I want to connect my Celtics to the TD Bank Garden, and I'm going to connect the Bruins. Let's connect to that one, and we'll see they're both connected. Now, I can click and drag to make that a little more clear. I can move this around to see how these come together. And we can keep connecting to our heart's content. So that's how you can use Padlet to create a mind map or a web of connections between ideas and do so with multimedia notes if you like. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.